All right. What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? I'm just chilling out. I'm just chilling out. I don't even know where I'm on, how deep I'm gonna go in this video. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, you know, because I'm I usually just I'm like a G. I like a well, I am a G. I am a G. But I'm like more like a Jay Z type, Little Wayne type um, YouTube content creator. And what I mean by that is, I can just push record. <laughs> you see what I mean? And the thing about it is, like, I put up like a couple videos the other day, and um, it's really strange to me because it's like, I think I have like, out of the last two videos I put up, I had like maybe 20 views. But those 20 viewers were like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get, I get, I have people um, that I forward my um, videos to when I make them. Big timers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You see what I mean? I don't do videos. Um, like, say, for instance, what if I was to uh, do a video right now about. Um, Deion Sanders. Or what if I did a video about um, the Colorado football team? Now, with this this many people that fluctuate through my page, how how many views do you think I would get? You know what I'm saying? Cause like what I I know like I know my range on the views because I can tell like if I put like a celebrity name in the in the title, it runs up to the the highest that it runs up to is about six hundred. So what I could do is I could just make videos every day and talk about celebrities and get six hundred views and then I would get the subscribers and this and comments and this and I'll be able to comment back and this and that and this and that. I could do that. I could do that. <laughs> Who knows? Shit, I might just start fucking doing that. But I don't need to do that. Because this is YouTube. This is not their tube. See, that's... I think they need another... They need another name for... What y'all are doing. <laughs> I'm not talking about the... I'm not talking about my subscribers. And I'm not talking about... um. You know, people that come over here and just happen to jump in and don't really, um, are not really content creators. But um, they need a their tube. Because, no, they need a they tube. Should I call it they tube? Yeah, let's call it they tube. Because it seems like you always, a them tube? Yeah, let's call it them tube. <laughs> Let's call it them tube, because you always make a video about them. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, as a matter of fact, don't try and steal my idea. I'm going to make sure that I write this idea down and send it to myself, copyrighted. I'm going to invent them tube. <laughs> straight, straight up I'm gonna invent it I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna get my servers up you know everything like that it might take a while it might take me five years it might take ten years but I'm gonna start something called them too so that people can go to your page and hear about them <laughs> wouldn't that be cool has anybody said that yet on YouTube? Has anybody come up with that idea yet? I would like, to, I would really be interested if anybody has come up with the new platform called ThemTube. Y'all feel me on that part? Anyway, um, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I, You know, I'm on vacation. 
I'm on vacation. I go back uh, back to trading tomorrow. Uh, I'll be back at it tomorrow at 5. Today's Saturday. So, um, you know, I... I, I, you know, this has been a, this has been a fucked up week for me. Yeah. This has been a real fucked up week for me. You know, I got a chance to see, um, that, you know, you know what I, what, you know why a lot of people do bad in life? You know why people do things that they know is against uh, what they should do is peer pressure. It's peer pressure. A lot of people see if you've never been popular before, um, what you'll do is you'll spend the rest of your life trying to be popular. Hello, is anybody out there? I think, you know what I'm thinking I'm going to do this year? Just to add to, like, the shit that I can do. I want to join a, um... I'm going to join a choir. I want to sing in the Christmas choir. Yeah. I've been working on my voice. It's pretty good. Check out my songs, y'all. Check out my songs. I got all kinds of songs on here, but you have to get through all the other wisdom and helpful videos and knowledge and videos on how to make you raise your frequency and vibration and how to be a good person and all my spiritual shit that goes spans across all of the other spiritual books besides the bible we're talking about the tar confucianism we're talking about the quran we're talking about um the buddhas um what, what, what else do I go into? Um, we're talking about like physio, physio, um, philosophical. Damn it! I hate when I do that. I hate when I try and sound, sound smart and it comes out wrong. What is it? Um, the physio. Ah, now I had a brain fart. I hate that. I hate that. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. You'll have to get through all of those videos, get to my um, to get to my music because I, I weave it in there. You know, what I'm saying? the music is not in there for you. It's just I'm just saving it. I'm just saving the hooks or the verses or whatever, the melodies, so that I can come back to them. Um, but yeah, I don't um, you know, I don't know what what I'm taking my page in a new direction in a in a more personal direction. Mm-hmm. So I'll get even less views. Because <laughs> I'm not talking about... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how smart my crowd is. I'm not talking about... I'm not doing them, you... I'm not do, doing them, tube. You see what I'm saying? I'm not doing them, tube. Mm -mm. I mean, like, eventually you would think some of my subscribers would, like, unsubscribe or something, right? You would think they don't. They just come over here. They just hit it. They hit it. They go. You know what I mean? Like they like. What's a nigga ramble on today? Um, I'm not doing them. Them too. I think that's cheating. I think when you do them too, it's cheating. I'd rather get five or six views on me too. Yeah. Mm. -mm. I'd rather get one like on me too instead of instead of doing them too cuz see people will come over here and they be like what is what's he about he's not a celebrity he could be he could be you know what i'm saying cuz we listen to him and you know, there's a bunch of them big old dummies a big old dummy <laughs> It's so bad that people think that, I, I believe it, in the basketball world, if you were to do a poll, who was the smartest man in the NBA sector, they would say Stephen A. Smith. 
and he ain't nothing but a big old dummy. Now, when I say dummy, I mean that what he's done is he's learned enough to be smarter than people that listen to him. Mm, mm, mm. Don't let me get started up. I've got a little time. I told y'all I got a new battery in my phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I might start hitting on about 30 minutes every time I come into this motherfucker. I might hit on 30 minutes when I come into this motherfucker. You feel me on that, boy? You might get 30 minutes when you come in this motherfucker. But yes. Oh, yes. So you take. You take Stephen A. He's the smartest person talking about basketball. You take Joe Biden. He's the smartest person we got. <laughs> Hold on, wait. You take Donald Trump. That's the smartest motherfucker we could find. You take Barack Obama. Boom! Game changer. We're going to get back to him in a second. You take George Bush. He's the smartest motherfucker you could find. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Let's keep going back. Who was before George Bush? Um, We had, was it his father? No, it's somebody else. I think the Democrat got in once. Right there. Was it? Did the Democrat get in? I don't think, I don't know. Anyway, let's go back to George Bush's father. That's the best motherfucker you could find. Hold on, let's go back further. Um, Ronald Reagan? That's the best motherfucker you could find? <laughs> really? Let's go back. All right, Jimmy Carter. Game changer. Um, This isn't about Republican and Democrats. I'm just saying I've noticed two people since 19, what, 80? Um, there were game changers. You want me to say John F. Kennedy, don't you? Game changer. I wasn't old enough to know what he was about. I didn't understand what he was trying to do until he got older. I mean, until he got killed. And I got older. Um, Can we find somebody else that's a game changer? Let's get back to Barack. That's the smoothest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. I ain't, I'm not fucking around right now. That is he smoother than me? Yeah. And that's that says a lot. Let me go ahead and clear it up. That's the baddest motherfucker I ever seen. On a on a on that level. Um, if we go to athletics, obviously Muhammad Ali takes the cake, right? Okay. But just on that politics level, Barack Obama. Mm. I used to just watch him, man, and be like, how is this nigga not sweating? No, he don't never sweat. This nigga don't never get uncomfortable. The reason why he don't never sweat and get uncomfortable is because he's a good man. And he stands on something. And I don't even know how I got off in this. And it doesn't matter. Because like I said, I'm taking my page in a whole other direction. This is MeTube. Mm -hmm. It's not them tube anymore. See what I'm saying? I'm not going to put celebrities' names in my titles anymore so that YouTube can generate views off of me and make money off of me. 
and it's not because I don't want YouTube to make money. It's it's just my page in particular. I don't want to make money off of that. I don't want that. I'm going to go one subscriber at a goddamn time until I get to my motherfucking 1,000 subscribers. When I get to my 1,000 subscribers, that might be the last day I make a, a YouTube video. I'm just doing this because I told myself that I was going to get a thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all this is about. So I don't know. What else I going to talk about? You want me to make you laugh? Okay. Um, Cause I usually come on like a lot funnier than this, right? Um, how can I make you laugh? Okay, I got a little small joke. I know y'all use that shit. What's the difference between meat and fish? You got 10 seconds. What is the difference between meat and fish? Hmm? What is the difference between meat and fish? All right, I'll give you the answer. I won't even, I'm gonna, not going to make you wait. Um, the difference between meat and fish is, well, it tastes different. But what's the main difference between meat and fish? The main difference between meat and fish, that would be, hmm, not supposed to beat your fish. Am I right? <laughs> You're not supposed to beat your fish. Now, nobody beats their fish. Have you ever heard about anybody, like, abusing a fish and shit? No. I heard about people pounding on some meat, though. I heard about people beating the hell out of their meat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. That's my little joke that you can use when you don't have anything to say and you're sitting next to your girl at the restaurant and somebody else just made their girlfriend laugh and then hey, you got something to say. Hey, what's the difference between meat and fish? Fuck it. Let me use some Ramo shit. You know what I mean? Like, yo. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. What's the difference between me and fish? Oh, it's, um, you're not supposed to beat your fish. It'll take her a second to catch it. But then she'll start thinking like you're really smart. Because it's like a smart joke. See what I mean? So, I'm stopping off today. Doing my me too. I'm not doing them tube anymore. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna name this video. What's the difference between me tube and them tube? Yeah. Anyway, nice talking to you guys again. Hey, I'm Ramo Retract, the baddest man on YouTube.